Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. It's Sunday, so it's car boot day. The weather was fantastic today, so I went to two car boot sales. I got a pretty good haul of items today. I got a ton of video games for the end. We'll go through those. But yeah, a real good lot of items today and should make some decent money off what we've bought. I'll jump in and show you what I got first. Up first, I picked up this Lord of the Rings Combat Hex set. Sadly, I overpaid for this. I paid £8 thinking it would be worth more. But unfortunately, it's worth what they were asking, £10. That's all this sells for on eBay. This might be one of the things, you know, you put it away for a few years. It might go up in value. But yeah, I think I'll be lucky to get my money back on this. But still, I thought it was worth picking up. Yeah, sometimes you don't always make money. Sometimes you're lucky if you get your money back. But yeah, I should easily get my money back on this. But yeah, future lesson. Only pick these up if they're cheap. But yeah, still quite a cool item. Up next, we'll go with this. Quite an unusual little case, I thought, when I opened it up. What do you think is going to be inside of here? We've got a little microscope with some tools, some lenses. And yeah, this cost me £5. It's not going to make me rich, but still, it should sell easily online for about £15. It's got this instruction manual in the bottom there as well. I need to check as well to see if all of these are clear. I haven't done that yet. Hopefully they are. and might get a little bit more than 15. If they are all just gunked up and in really bad condition, might get tenner, just over £10, something like that. But yeah, still quite a cool item. It should sell fairly quick if I price it fairly low. So yeah, should be an easy sell. Slight split on the case there, but nothing too bad. So we've got that there. Up next picked these up for myself in a charity shop this week these are some wetsuit gloves and I only paid three pound for these these are quite a good brand glove though so these are O'Neill gloves they seem to be in fairly good condition I doubt they were barely ever worn they fit me pretty well which is good I've got an O'Neill wetsuit and little O'Neill wetsuit shoes so now I've got the gloves to match I picked these up because they were £3 and I know O'Neill wetsuit stuff is fairly expensive because it's quite good quality. So yeah, for £3, I thought those were definitely worth picking up. That one's for me. Uh, what else did we get? I'm just trying to think. We're going to save the games till last. So we'll go with the phones next. And I picked up a bunch of broken mobile phones because I don't know what I'm doing and I just like picking up broken mobile phones. I've still got the ones I've bought recently. But yeah, this little jumble here cost me £14. And I think I'll make some good money on these, to be honest. Majority of them are completely broken. This iPhone here, you can see, is just smashed to pieces. You can see the screens on there. And the back is completely smashed. I think it's even slightly bent. No, it's not too bad. But yeah. So I paid £4 for this one. And then I got those four for a tenner. I'm going to have to really i'm gonna to have to start messaging some local phone repair shops or something like that and get someone who knows what they're doing with these because i know like iphones they can have the iCloud locks and the phone's just really not worth anything and stuff like that but yeah then we've got these here we've got this samsung galaxy j36 or j3 small six something like that this one this one the battery has died there you go. It does light up, but sadly, it just doesn't work the touch screen. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with this one. This will probably just go to a phone repair shop or something like that. So we've got that one there. We'll leave that booting up in the background. We've then got this, I don't know how you pronounce it, Oppo or Oppo phone. The screen on this is completely smashed. Hopefully the battery hasn't completely died. Yeah, you can see there how bad that is so yeah that one's definitely spares or repairs see this one here just doesn't doesn't want to work at all so unfortunate on that one that one then we've got this samsung one here i need to do a bit more research on this one 
see what's going on with it. So this one, the screen is just completely dead, but when I do plug it in, power it on, it makes the startup music and everything. So I think it's literally the screen is dead, but the phone itself might be salvageable. So I'll speak to a phone shop about that. If this is a half decent phone, I'll see if I can just get the screen repaired and then sell it on. But I'll speak to someone about that one. That one there. And then we've got this Nokia here. And hey ho, this one actually works. So it's a, we've got the, got the model number. Ugh, go back. About phone. Build number. Oh, model TA1007. So yeah, but this one's in working order, which should really pay for all the other phones, to be honest, and make a little bit of profit. I think these online, I had a quick look, sell for about 30 to 40 pound. I need to check if it's SIM unlocked and all that first and what have you. But yeah, that one seems to be in working order. So yeah, that one should pay for all of these, plus this one. But yeah, I need to do more research about buying broken phones. I don't know if it's worth my time yet. I think it's going to be. I just need to find the right person to sell this stuff to. But yeah, £14 for all these phones. I think that was a pretty good deal. Very happy with it. Hopefully make a decent bit of profit. Hopefully a Samsung's worth a little bit as well. We'll see. But yeah, nice little bundle of phones there. From phones, now we'll go to, we'll go to this actually. So I was cleaning out my loft the other day and I found all my old Legos. And today at the car boot sale, I find an old Lego Star Wars kit here. Now, I, the bloke wanted £15 for this. And I said, well, I might give you £8 for it. And he said, yeah, I'll take eight, which I was really quite surprised at. The box is in beaten up condition, but it's all there. All the artwork's there. Inside, we've got a bag of bits here and we've got the manual, which is a good sign. The bad sign is though, I've looked through this little bag like this and I'm not seeing any minifigures in there. So that's slightly worrying. But still, if most of the ship is here, so if most of this spaceship's here, I should get about 30 pounds for it, I think thereabouts. If the whole ship is here and we're just mini missing the minifigures, we should get over 30 pounds for this, I think quite easily. When I was walking around the car boot, because obviously I can't, I take a rucksack to the car boot, this would not fit in my rucksack. I was literally holding it in my hands and people were saying, oh, you've got a Lego kit there, how much are you paying? I said, oh, I've only paid eight pound for it. And he said, eight pound, go, da, da. you know, I'll give you 15 quid for it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll give you 15 quid for it, people were saying. I'll double your money on it. And I thought, well, I need to take it home and build it first and play with a little spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it's worth more than £15. So this one for £8 was pretty cool. Definitely worth picking up. I think it was quite a good buy this. So yeah, cool little item there. Right, now we're going to go on to video games. We're going to go through these quick. I'll do a separate video on these, I think. But for now, I'll just do a little rundown of what I've actually got. So we'll go through this first bundle here. Right, we've got two from a charity shop I picked up. We've got Dark Souls 2 here, 50p. Case is a little bit nipped. Game's in there and that. Then we've got Bayonetta there. I think same again. I'm not going to open up every case because we're going to be here forever on these. We're just going to go through them. We'll do a separate video on these. We've got Spider-Man 2 here on the Nintendo DS. £2 I paid for that. I don't think it's really worth much more, but I think £2 for a boxed Nintendo DS game, not too bad a deal. Then we'll leave those for a little bit later. Got these free PlayStation 2 games here. I paid one pound each for these, so three pound in total. We've got The Sims there, we've got Jack 2, and then we've got Jack and Dexter in here. Then up here, we've got some Xbox One games. We've got this Warriors Ochi Ultimate Free game. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We've got Titanfall, we've got Titanfall 2, and we've got Overwatch Game of the Year Edition. £7 paid on this little bundle. Should make a little bit of money on this. Nothing too much on those. Uh, I saved these two separately. I picked these up for a pound each. 
and I really wouldn't pay a pound each for these if I just saw them, you know, out and about. But these are still factory sealed. And I do know some people grade games and stuff like that. So for a pound each factory sealed Xbox 360 games, I thought I'd pick these up. And worst case, I'll just save them for the future. They might be worth a little bit more then. But yeah, Battlefield 3 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Not terrible games either. But yeah, factory sealed completely. Really quite cool. But yeah, I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen many sealed games out in the wild. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Very happy about that. Hopefully they're worth a little bit, I'm not too sure. I have to do a bit more research. We'll save that for the other video. Next up, we've got this bundle of games here. Eight pound paid for this. We'll just run through Ooh, what we've got. <laughs> right, oh my goodness, what's going on? All right, sort yourself out. Probably a PS3 game or an Xbox One game at the bottom, making it unsturdy. We've got Rocky Legends on the PlayStation 2. We've got Worms 3D on the Xbox. We've got Fable on the Xbox. We've got Midnight Club Street Racing on the PlayStation 2. We've got Rocky on the PlayStation 2. We've got Uncharted 3 on the PlayStation 3. We've got Skyrim on the Xbox One. We've got Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty Cities on the 360. We've got Final Fantasy 13 on the 360. We've got Mafia on the Xbox. We've got another Final Fantasy 13 on the 360. We've got Resident Evil 5 on the 360. We've got Arkham City Batman game on the 360. We've got Soul Calibur 2 on the original Xbox. We've got Batman Arkham Asylum there on the PS3. We've got Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll on the Wii. And then we've got Final Fantasy 13 2 looks of it so yeah eight pound plays on all of them i don't think there's anything worth mega money here but i think they're all one to you know one to three pound games so two pound a piece say eh? so i'll thought hopefully three or four times my money on this lot considering i only paid 50p a game so that was a pretty good deal on those and our last little game lot of the day oh we've got some watches to look at as well in a minute i forgot about that now this little bundle here I paid £15 for and basically we're going to get all of that and a bit of profit out of these four games here. Maybe not Call of Duty Modern Warfare but definitely out of these two Grand Theft Autos and this Spider-Man here. And then we've got these Xbox 360 games. We'll go through them anyway. So we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the PS4. We've got Spider-Man for the PS4. We've got Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4 and then same for the Xbox One. We've got Battlefield 3 for the 360. We've got Batman Arkham Origins on the 360. We've got Lego Star Wars 2 on the 360. Oh, they're all 360 games. I'm not going to say 360 after each one. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Hitman. Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed Revelations, Dead Space, and Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. So those are today's game haul. That is a pretty good haul of games to go through. I'll save a separate video on these and we'll go through and we'll check every disc for scratches if it's got its manual and we'll see what we're going to do with them. Probably half of these I'm just going to trade in in town like cex cash converters something like that just to get rid of them get them gone because we've got quite a lot here we'll go through that we'll talk about that more in another video though so let's put that to one side and we'll finish up with today's little watches i picked up got my little stool here to put them on up first we've got a little ladies watch here a little loras watch Bought this for a pound, mainly because it's in its original case. It's got its warranty on the back. Non-working at the moment. Hopefully a new battery will fix that easily. Up next, we've got this fossil watch here. Men's fossil watch. Quite a nice looking watch. A few light scratches on there. Hopefully a new battery will get this one going as well. And with this, so I paid £10 for this one. And then I also got this rather nice storm watch here. 
hopefully a new battery will get this one going as well storm watches sell quite well they're quite an odd little brand they do some really funky watches i do quite like picking these up and this is quite a nice watch to be honest it's got really good weight to it but yeah so 11 pound total paid on these probably only going to get five to ten pound on this loris one here if i can get this fossil one working that's in non-working condition you know it's five to ten pound in working condition it floats probably around the 20 pound maybe a bit more if it didn't have all these little scratches on the face you can kind of see it there yeah, it don't look too bad when i do it like that but yeah it's like that we'll try and clean it up anyway if we can get it working and then the storm watch if it's working i need to look up the model number and stuff like that but it should be an easy 30 pound watch i'd say on this one if it's in working order if it's a non-working order, you know, it's probably about a £10 watch. So we get our money back plus a little bit of profit if this one works or not works. So yeah, good little watch haul there. Very happy with these two and kind of happy with this little one. But yeah, that is today's car boot sale buys and charity shop buys, should I say. A really good haul of items. Oh, I've got to build this little Lego kit at some point. Not disappointed about that, to be honest. <laughs> Got a big chunk of video games today. Going to do a separate video on that, I think. It's got quite a bit. Got a lot of phones as well to go through. If you know a bit about phones, let me know in the comments what's the best thing to do with some of these broken ones. Are they worth my time picking them up? If I can pick them up cheap, it'd be interesting to know. So we've got those. A little microscope, obviously. A little Lord of the Rings figures that we'll hopefully get our money back on. But yeah, a nice little haul of items from today's car boot sale. Very happy with what I've got here. The games is, picking up games is okay, but when you're only making a pound or two profit, it's probably best to just stick them in as a job lot and sell them on like that. Because you're not going to make a huge amount of money. That's my plan on the majority of these games. But I've got to go through it all and we'll do that together in another video. But for today, happy with this little haul of items from the car boot sale and the charity shops. Let me know what your favourite item is from this slot. I think we've got some rather cool, interesting stuff this week. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty of car boot videos on my channel. I go to car boot sales all the time. I'm buying and selling. If you are interested in whatever this is going to sell for, I update my sales on my little shorts videos, you know, the 60 little second videos, your reels, your TikTok style videos. But yeah, they're called shorts on YouTube. But yeah, got I update on that quite a bit. So yeah, interesting. Eh, I'm getting carried away. Thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.